Hi, I'm Susan Crouch here in Joe's Test Studio. I love to paint birds, and today I was going to give you some tips on how you can photograph the birds in your own backyard. And the good news is you don't really need a lot of fancy equipment or special skill. Um, I just use this little point and shoot. This is a Canon S3IS uh, 6 megapixel, and I think it's a 12x zoom. But uh, it's nothing fancy, but it does a good job for me. And I'll just explain how I go about getting my photos. Because I'm in the studio so much, I've set a little tripod up, and you can see it in this picture here. This is in the corner of my studio, and the camera's on the tripod, and while I'm working during the day, I can watch the birds that are coming right outside the window here pretty much all day as they come and go. And um, the nice thing about being in the corner here is it almost creates sort of a little blind so I can shoot without the birds seeing me. And depending on the time of, time of day, I don't have problems with reflections off the, off the glass. So it's a really nice setup for that. And then right on the other side of the window, I've created a little habitat to encourage the birds to come up close. You can see here I've got three different kinds of feeders. This is full of thistle seed for the um, goldfinches. And this just has the general um, all-purpose sunflower seed uh, millet mix. This particular uh, bird feeder I really like. The platform feeder, I've gotten some of my best shots from birds when they land here because there's nothing that's obstructing their um, body. And it's also a good feeder for the larger birds like morning doves and blue jays. So this is what's on the other side of that window you saw. I've also got a, a bird bath. You can't see that in the picture. But um, it's just a really nice way to get them to come up close and when they do I'm ready to, to take some pictures of them. I'll show you some of the pictures that I've taken. There's the morning dove and the female cardinal sharing the platform feeder. And there you've got the male cardinal. He looks like he's posing for you. And the rose-breasted grosbeak. So much fun painting and photographing these birds, but just really easy to do. Uh, a tip about photographing it's good if you can look for good light shadow opportunities because that will give you a better photo reference for when you're actually painting. But um, that's it. It's pretty easy to do. And if you set up something like this right outside your window, pretty soon you'll have birds coming up close and they'll be ready for you to photograph. I'm Susan Crouch. Thanks for stopping by.